Hello, I'm Jeffrey Parker and welcome to my home. Today I'd like to take the opportunity to share with you some of the artwork I have collected over the years. My collection has principally been of emerging artists, 20th century and now 21st century artists, living artists from New York City and the Hamptons with a few exceptions. For me, artwork is a very important and integral part of our environment. Uh, it serves to remind us of the society we're living in, of the times we're living in, and can be a reflection of our personal faults and taste. For me, art is an essential part of what we do. It's an uh, essential part of society. It is not only a witness, but it serves to move culture forward. For me, there isn't good or bad art, more so than anything. The most important thing a piece of artwork can do is move you emotionally. If it doesn't, it isn't good for you. The artwork that I have collected tends to be abstract, abstract expressionism, neo-expressionism, and some contemporary sculpture. It's a great deal of fun collecting art. It's a very personal, uh, integrated thing. and. As you build your collection, the pieces become like family to you, and they become part of who you are in your life and your home. Today, I would like to share a few of the pieces, and I'll talk to you about the artist and the works as we see them. This particular painting is one of many favorites of mine, painted by the artist Francine Tint. Francine Tint is an abstract expressionist painter uh, a bit of a contemporary of Helen Frankenthaler, and I love the motion and expressiveness in this piece of art. This painting I actually purchased specifically when this library was redone, and it was coordinated with the space, if you will. In interior design, I don't think that's always necessary, and we've heard many times art does not have to match a room. Addition to that line of art does not have to match a room, which is, and it can't conflict with the room either, it does have to sort of sit on the wall and, and belong in the space in some way, uh, even if it's not completely coordinated. Uh, this, I love the motion and action above the sofa. I happen to like it with the paisley fabric and the color scheme of the room and the antique rug. Uh, but Francine's work, I think, has so much power and energy and I never tire of looking at it. Two jewels of my collection are a pair of bronze pieces done by the artist Gerson Lieber. Gerson Lieber, you may know, was the husband of Judith Lieber, who became incredibly famous for her Judith Lieber handbags. Gerson's paintings and sculptures are in the Metropolitan Museum, the Brooklyn Museum, part of the Corcoran Gallery collection. Gerson was a teacher at the Corcoran Gallery for many years in Washington, D.C. Uh, he principally was a painter, but did some sculptures. This was a period that he did these miniatures in bronze. This piece is called On the Telephone, which I adore the expression of this face, kind of Picasso or Brock-esque. Uh, the guy is on the telephone, quite intently having a conversation which we can only imagine what it might be like. The companion piece that I have is called On the Sofa, which is someone with a very cubist cross leg, very comfortably settled into the corner of the arm of a sofa, either watching television or contemplating life or something. I love this pair and, and the whimsy that they have and the whimsy of their expression and again, in the Cubist tradition. This piece is by artist Patton Miller. It was painted in 2004. Patton is a fascinating artist that lives in Southampton, New York, and paints in the original Fairfield Porter studio in Southampton, and is now one of the most well-regarded and highly collected artists between the east end of New York and New York City. 
This is called Young Monk. You see the child and it's a collage with newspaper and wild animals and perhaps a father figure in a chair. You never grow tired of seeing all of the small elements in this and it draws you very much into the picture. This painting I had originally purchased for my East Hampton entrance hall and once I had acquired a different house the perfect home became over the living room sofa. This piece is by artist Hunt Slunham. Hunt is a New York City painter whom I've had the privilege of knowing personally since 1990. This painting is Rudolf Valentino, painted in 1994 from a blue series of paintings. I love the movement and expressive quality of this particular work, and it's a bit atypical for Hunt's work, who principally is known for painting birds and more recently rabbits in a very uh, neo-expressive way. I hope that you've enjoyed this mini tour of some of the artwork in my personal collection. It's been a pleasure taking you on this tour in my home. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon for another segment of interior design in the world of Jeffrey Parker Interiors. Thank you so much and be well.